if you could just be voluminous, <laughs> that would be so nice. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new around here. Hi, my name is Missa. I've been gone for a week One week exact just over a week because I upload Sunday Tuesday It's Friday. So yeah, I took a week off. I feel Somewhat rested and rejuvenated. I also feel like I could do with another week off But that might just be my laziness talking anyway I thought we'd we'd kick things back off with this video. I actually filmed another video which I scheduled for today. However, I'm gonna push that to Friday. So at the start of that video when I'm like, guess who's back? Then you'll know why there's actually a video before it now. This video I just thought it'd be more fun, more exciting because it's just gonna be me testing and not putting pressure to be like, ooh, I need to look perfect. So, as you can see by the title, we are going to be doing, I spot everywhere, we are going to be doing testing Primark makeup. Now, the other day, Hamish took me to Primark and it was the first time in almost 11 months because I didn't go until like, the last time I went was like early December and I only bought makeup. Now, I know what you're going to say. Melissa, you're on a makeup no buy. However, I made an exception because it's Primark. All of what I bought came in at like 20 pounds and also you can only buy it at Primark. So it's not like you can buy it everywhere and so it's easier to get, you know what I mean? So I made an exception. Hope you will forgive me for that. I haven't made any other exceptions. I've still not bought makeup in what, over a month? So I'm doing well. I've got a bunch of products to try. I don't have foundation or concealer. But apart from that, I think I've got pretty much everything else and I thought we'll just we'll just jump in. I'm not gonna like go through each of the products individually because I'll just show you them as I apply them. I was also gonna start with makeup on, but I realized I have a primer, so ooh, let's start. So the first thing we're gonna be playing with is the Prep and Perfect Glow Illuminating Skin Primer. And I really like this packaging because well first of all the lids like twist off and I think like that looks more posh and also it's got this like clear what would you call that? Squeezy nozzle. I love illuminating stuff. And hold on, I've got one more thing to try first. This is not trying for the first time. This is the pre-mark, 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 pre, -mark, pre, -mark, pre, -mark, pre -mark. I have forgotten how to film in my hiatus. Brief hiatus. Pre-mark primer water, finally have a new one. I actually picked up a few things for Nicole, who is, I would call now an internet friend, and uh, a patron. And I sent her one of these as well and I was like, damn it, I should have bought three because I'm gonna run out of this again. But hopefully I'll be back on my feet soon properly. So I'm just gonna flump some of that on. That's a dupe for the dupe for the Smashbox one. I actually prefer this for wetting my makeup brushes, like when I'm putting metallics on. I look at those beauty bloggers, beauty gurus that are obviously mega rich, obviously get heaps of like MAC PR and they wet their brushes with Fix Plus. I have used my Fix Plus twice in the like six months I've bought it because I'm like, I need to save it for good. It was so expensive, do you know what I mean? So get this, Primark Primer Water, two pounds. Wets your brushes, gives you a bit of primer, save money. You know? Anyway, let's try this out. I am worried it's gonna be super dark, so let's see. No, it's light, it's really pale. I was worried it would be like a really deep illuminating one, but it's like white. I can't see any illumination in it, but we'll bung it on anyway. Probably used way too much. I do get that comment like, Melissa, <laughs> no wonder you don't like primers. You use it far too much, but I'm a cake face. Feels nice, just feels like a moisturizer. I have pre-moisturized my neep, but it just feels thin like a moisture. Oh, I guess it is quite illuminating. Yeah, it's got a bit of a sheen to it. Nice. I do plan on putting a full coverage matte foundation on, but I don't even know how you're supposed to test primers unless you test them like a hundred times, which by the way, I've been doing with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. 
I've been using that every single day that I've been putting makeup on this past week, which has only been about four days. Oh, it's pilling up, it's pilling up. Oh, can you see that on my fingers? I put my moisturizer on at least an hour and a half ago. No, maybe even two hours, because I watched a whole hour long video. I'm gonna continue because I feel like I'm a master at making things not look so bad. So let me go wet my sponge. Hamish is sleeping, so I can't get him to do it annoyingly. We're just gonna keep things really affordable through this. I'm gonna, this chair is starting to get creaky. No, it's not. We're just, I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution matte base. I've been using this so much with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that I was yammering on around about. So good. The primer plus this blew my mind. Also, it's really beautiful underneath the new ABH foundation. I will have a video coming up on that at some point soon-ish. I have a lot of foundations to test. <laughs> a lot. And I don't feel like I've got that much time to test them all. Um, anyway, I was just gonna say, I'll put my foundation on while I'm doing it. Yeah, I was just washing my sponge at the kitchen sink because, oh, just some nice road work starting outside. Not road work, so, you know what I mean. I was just washing my sponge at the kitchen sink and I was gonna ask you, what is, this is a funny thing, not like a serious thing. What is the most annoying thing your partner does or your flatmate or your sibling does the most annoying trivial thing. Mine, for Hamish, sorry, Hamish's most annoying trivial thing that he does, and he won't mind me saying this, is that he, he eats porridge, he loves porridge, and he doesn't, he's a man, he has a man cave. He tends to let dishes pile up inside of it until I go berserk when I can't find like a, like a spoon or a plate, and I'm like, can you put your dishes in the kitchen? And uh, even though he does wash the dishes, a good man when I moan at him in a wifely way to do it he uh, he eats porridge this is a long story for absolutely no purpose he eats porridge and instead of putting the bowl in the sink and washing it immediately or at the very least putting the bowl in the sink and letting it soak in water because we know how hard porridge is to wash off he just leaves it on the side so the porridge gets dry the excess porridge just sticks to the side, sticks to the spoon. I just forgot how much I love this foundation. Like, it's not the most incredible foundation on the planet, but it's so nice. It's matte, it's full coverage. But I feel like this um, primer is its actually all right underneath it. It's not looking weird. Oh, so I have something to confess to you. I actually last week did a Patreon only video. I woke up in a really good mood and that's the day I filmed the video that you'll see on Friday, which is not my finest work, but I'm still going to put it up anyway. Um, and I did a Patreon only Q&A and put that up for my Patreons, obviously. Um, because I feel like that's the least I can do as a perk of being a Patreon is give them videos only for themselves that no one else can see and I just think it's a bit fun and I also let loose a lot more like swear and I I'm just a bit more myself language wise maybe I hate those people outside like obviously I keep my channel super PG but I just swear be a bit more crass not super crass, but you know, I wouldn't advise watching it with your small children. What's the point of this story? Oh yeah, so I confessed this to my Patreons and um, I should probably confess it to you because you might notice, you might not notice, you probably won't notice, but you might in about not that long. Right, hold on, let me just assess this primer foundation. I always get questions on this mirror by the way, it's the Beast Mirror by ABH, it's like covered in pink rhinestones. You can actually buy it on the ABH website. They have a merch store now. Okay, it's not looking that nice. <laughs> Ew, they've got like eye goo. It's not looking horrendous, but it's not looking nice. Yeah, it's made my skin look a little dry. 
the uh this foundation's a little too pink for me but f5 is actually really dark so maybe i need f6 but obviously i can't buy it but i will balance things out i'm gonna use my l'oreal infallible concealer because i actually never ever 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 reach for this but i kept it in my declutter because i was like i need to try it more and this is very pale this is shade what shade are you down me Oh, three, it's on the lid, 320. Porcelain. I try to use less foundation, but then I'm just gonna compensate by using more concealer. My face is so pink compared to my neck. Ignore that. So, I, just before I took my break, just before I announced I was taking my break on YouTube, I uh, went and saw someone but dog, I didn't. I. This is quite a sensitive subject to a lot of people, and I understand it. To others, this is nothing, and like, why would I make a big deal about it? But it's something that I just don't want other people to think that they have to have to make themselves be pretty or something. But it's something I want you to know. I've put many years of thought into this. I have thought about having this done for well over two years. I went and got Botox on my forehead. Um, it's not been enough time for it to have fully taken effect yet. That will only be in a few days though. And yeah, I got Botox in my forehead. I, you probably know from me talking about it, I'm really self-conscious about my forehead lines. And it's something that I just thought, do you know what, Melissa, just go and do it. Plus someone I knew, wanted it done too so it was really good because Hamish didn't want me to have it done and he point blank refused to come with me and obviously I need someone out with me um right now to anything doctors physio anything because I just can't be trusted on my own not to like fall over or trip on my crutches or whatever do you know what I mean I've only had two fun outings since January and this was my third fun outing and I went and got Botox with someone, I'm not gonna say who, because she might not want it to be known online that she's had it done. Um, and yeah, I got it on my forehead. And I really researched the clinic I went to. It was done by a medical professional. I will have a before and after picture in a few days. I'll put it up in a video coming up so you can see the difference. She did say that because my main forehead line that I've got which I'll show you in a close-up when I'm you know put all my makeup on she did say that that one might not disappear because even when she like tightened the skin stretched the skin out it was still visible and that's kind of what was pushing me more to get it done was because I'd noticed that when I you know like pulled my forehead tight I could still really see that line and it was making me really self-conscious and you know me, I do a lot of eye tutorials on my channel and I feel like when I'm really close up to the camera, all you see is the wrinkles and I'm sure 1% of you might be like, yeah, I guess, yeah, I see your wrinkles a lot. Most of you will be like, Melissa, you're just being stupid, but we all have those personal things that, you know, we get self-conscious about and that was mine. I can promise you now, I can promise you and if I ever go back on this promise, then I will give each of you five pounds, which will be a lot of money and I can't afford that. I am not gonna get like a nose filler done. I'm not gonna get cheek fillers. I'm not gonna get my jaw done or my lips. I don't want to be, I'm not, I feel like my voice sounds emotional. I just feel like I need a drink of water. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't wanna be a kind of carbon copy of so many people that you see online. I still want to have my own face, plus Hamish would probably divorce me. And I say that jokingly, because obviously he wouldn't, but he kind of would, but he wouldn't, but he would, if you know what I mean. And I'm happy with my face overall. You know, I've got big cheeks when I smile, and yeah, my jaw could be more defined, but I've put on two and a half stone, almost three stone since January. <laughs> So there we go, that's where the triple chin comes in. This is turning into a really chatty video and it was not meant to be, but maybe that's good because I have been away for like a week and two days. Oh, my under eyes are looking so dry. 
real bad. It's definitely that primer because my skin has actually been looking great the past few days. Maybe this will help. Oh, do you know what? Even that primer it's very smells nice. I really wanted to use my Jeffree Star powder because I've been using that a lot recently and loving it. But I'm going to use my Makeup Obsession Pure Lace one. Pure Bake, sorry, Shade Lace. My only complaint with this is that the sieve is not a sieve. There's no holes in this. You have to take off that whole thing to get to the powder. Why is that Makeup Obsession? Please answer me. Please. So yeah, now you all know I have had technically a cosmetic procedure done. I though, for any of you younger viewers, I don't have a lot, but I know I do have some, and I also know that some people watch my channel with their like younger teens and things like that. I am almost 30. I am 28, almost 29. So I'm almost 30 years old. I think I left it till a good age to get it. I think um, that you shouldn't get it until you really, really need it if you feel you need it. Not other people saying you don't or you do. If you really feel you need it and you really want it, then wait, wait. When you've decided you want it, you've wanted it, wait longer. If you still really want it after a long time, then maybe think about getting it. But don't do it because other people are telling you don't not do it because other people are telling you not to. It is your face, it is your life. Also, it's not permanent, so you don't need to worry about that. However, I have been told by some people it does get to be an expensive habit. However, I would not buy makeup. Like, if this works as well as I'm hoping it does, I would not buy makeup just so I could afford to get it done. <laughs> I also had another point there and I can't remember what it was. Oh, it wasn't sore at all. So if you are someone that is thinking about getting it done and if you're anything like me and you are the biggest wuss in the world, it wasn't sore. I would say 0 0.5 out of 10, 10 being the worst pain in the world, which I can only imagine is childbirth. But yeah, not sore at all. And some of my patrons said I probably have a really high pain threshold now. I don't. I don't. Trust me, I don't. I have an ingrown big toenail and yesterday I stubbed it and I was crying. I was crying for ages. Hamish thought I'd seriously injured myself. I just stubbed my ingrown toenail, which I really need to go to the doctor and get seen because even socks hurt my toe at this point. I've deliberately not set my eyelids because we do have an eyeshadow palette to play with. So yeah, it didn't hurt. And um, when I saw my friend have it done, it looks a little gruesome, but it did not hurt at all. And I am, I don't know, I'm not that scared of needles. I'm scared probably as much as the average person doesn't like being poked by needles, but yeah, it didn't hurt. It was over in minutes and hopefully it will be real good. But this is me frowning as hard as I can. But I can raise my eyebrows, that's what I can do. And it's stopping so many lines that were starting to form and set around here that I was really paranoid about. But I've got to obviously go back and you get like your tweaks done if you need anything else or if like something's not quite right because sometimes one of your eyebrows can go a lot higher than the other. I feel like this eyebrow, I still have way too much movement in and I want to stop that so much because in all my photos I'm like this and it really annoys me. Makeup revolution skin finish. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to have this as a chatty video but it's fine, isn't it? Mm. Apart from some dry patches, I think my skin looks pretty good. It's, I'd go out like this if I was going out anywhere. I think we should jump into eyes next. So. I actually, I asked Hamish when we were in there, I went and had a seat by this point and I was just looking through the basket and Hamish went, cause he saw a jacket in the window that he liked and he went to look at his jacket, but I was like, will you go and pick me an eyeshadow palette? Cause I realized I hadn't picked one up and I thought, well that's, it's always fun to test eyeshadow palettes. So he picked one for me, he picked this. This is the Sweet Dreams eyeshadow palette. 
this is the packaging i think he picked it oh i don't want to show you the back i think he picked it because he was like it's pink can you like pink and inside oh the name sheet's falling out i'm not that mad like it's not it's quite nice i don't like the blue i think it's just a stupid pop of blue that everyone puts in their palettes and had it been maybe a gorgeous metallic i would have been like oh yeah yeah baby yeah i like that let me turn the light down just a pinch but i think those like metallics they look so reflective in fact we can swatch this now okay i don't really like that one but the other two are quite nice I've got shaky hands if you did not know. I mean, that deep brown is very promising and that peach just looks nice and soft. That yellow, does that have sparkle in it? The yellow's got like micro shimmer in it, but that's okay. I'll still like use that in my crease if I want to because I am not ruled by anyone. Just need to put some lip balm on because these things are gross. <laughs> so just as the really noisy stuff starts outside, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more concealer on my lids because I want to give these shadows a chance. That's the wrong drawer. You know, maybe if the landlord would upgrade my windows in this flat, which have been in the flat probably since the 1600s, it wouldn't be so noisy all the time. I think I'm just gonna do quite a soft look because I, I don't know I just don't fancy doing anything too dramatic so let's let's go in I'm actually going to take this soft brown shade up here and throw this on I'm just gonna like keep my eyes open oh maybe I need a deeper shade and drop my brows and just like map out where I need to go so that it's actually above my crease. Even if I don't do a cut crease or anything, I always still do this just so that my shadows are visible. You know the drill with hooded eyes or even just semi hooded eyes. I'm so excited. I'm waiting on a delivery of something for Hamish. And I think I'm more excited about this than anything I've been excited about in a while. He won't know even if I put up this video now, but because he, he watches my videos on mute in another tab because he finds makeup really boring, but he wants to give my video a view. He, uh, we've been using my brother's PS, is it his PS4 or Xbox? his PlayStation basically, um, because Hamish actually smashed his up a few months ago. I'm just gonna use that same shade on a fluffier brush. He smashed his up a few months ago because Hamish, since he was a child, I'll try and find the photo of him if I can and put it on the screen. Since he was a child, he's always had a problem with computer games like he can't just play a computer game he devotes all of his time to computer games and I'm not gonna lie in the past I've been you know pretty grumpy about it but we are talking like you know he would spend all of his free time playing computer games all of his free time to pack that on the other corner. This by the way is applying really nicely. So like say even when he had his gym before when he wasn't going into coach like if he had days off because he had other coaches he would spend every waking moment playing his computer games even on the most beautiful sunny of days and I'd be like dude can we go and do something fun together outside and he'd be like no I'm playing computer games like okay fine and I'd get really annoyed about it we'd have arguments proper arguments about it um he could probably make the same statements to me about sitting in my makeup room applying makeup however you know it's for my channel this is going on really nicely by the way but yeah all of that to say he smashed up his his PlayStation um, I was mad at him about that as well because I was like why didn't you just sell it 
but it was more of a symbolic smashing. Anyway, he realized he couldn't live without it. He started working nights, so he had like a job where he only could play it for so long and he was spending more time with me. Plus, obviously my back, he's been the biggest, almost only support, well, only support in physical person really to actually help me and I was like, man, he needs something else to do. And uh, yeah, I managed to buy him one. I didn't buy him one outright because they are very expensive. Plus I wanted like an extra controller and stuff so that I could play too. Um, so I managed to get him one on finance and it should arrive tomorrow. And I'm gonna present it to him when he comes home from another grueling night shift. Any other night shift wives out there? Oh my goodness, it's just the worst thing ever. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I hate going to bed alone every night. It's awful. It's not the worst thing that could happen, obviously, but I really don't like it. Anyway, I'm gonna go in now with, I think I'll go with a peach, this one here, just in case I wanna use the yellow. Yeah, it should arrive tomorrow. And I'm very excited. He's gonna be over the moon because I actually got him, I don't know if I said, I got him an Xbox One X, not another PlayStation because he and my brother, like their biggest, oh, their biggest bond is over their absolute love and obsession of computers and computer games. So my brother said that the Xbox One X is the one to get, so. That's the one Hamish really wanted, so yeah, I got it for him. I was quite shocked actually, apparently my credit score's gone up, that's nice. <laughs> so I don't ever get that, you're like, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get this, and then it goes through and like, oh, that's pleasant. So he's gonna be one happy chappy, so am I, cause I'm gonna get all of Uncharted and start that from the beginning. I only ever played the first game, maybe a little bit the second game, but I love Uncharted so much. And then my brother says I need to get Lara Croft as well because apparently they're very good to play and quite like, shut up, stop shouting, and quite like Uncharted in that way. These shadows, by the way, are going on. Like they're going on and blending. I do feel like I'm losing that depth of that brown with my blending, but kind of everything for four pounds. We'll see when I go to apply the shimmers. I'm just gonna use that same brush, by the way, which is a blank canvas E87. I really like it. And I'm gonna use that yellow. Again, it does have micro particles of glitter in it, but I'm hoping that they're so micro that they're hardly seen. Or it could be that this yellow isn't seen. Probably wouldn't buy this palette for the yellow. Let's just intensify that brown on the outer corner. I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes. These shadows, like, I am a little bit shocked, like they do just like really smooth and like soft and they do blend really well, although I'm struggling somewhat to keep this brown on my eye when I'm blending it, like if I'm just a bit patient, it is there. Let's try a metallic now and I think I will wet one. I'm gonna try this pretty yellow gold one down here, but I am just gonna, okay, I'll try it dry, but I think I will end up wetting it. Okay. It's not awful dry, but I just think wetting it with most eyeshadows is gonna like really make it good. So primer water again. So I've gone through so many of these in the past because I just use it for so many different things. And that's a bit better. I was just thinking about this mirror again. Do you not think it's a bit weird that ABH are now selling like scrunchies and stuff? 
in their merch store. I'm going to try this darker metallic just beside that one to kind of blend into the brown a bit better. Oh, that's quite nice. Do you know what though? Thinking of what I was just saying, if I had a horse, Hamish would never see me. So like with him and his computer games, so he would just shut himself away in his room and play computer games so much. If I had a horse, he would never see me because half my time would be in here putting on makeup on camera or just playing with makeup in general. And the other half of me would be at my horse. Because if you are a horsey person or you know kind of what it's like, you just go to the yard and you spend all day there even if you only spend an hour working your horse it's another hour doing the feeding and hay nets another hour mucking out another hour turning out another hour chatting another hour you know what i mean i'm just gonna finish this so i like match it up off camera and then i'll come back and we'll put our lashes on and then we'll go on to the rest of the face hopefully in focus and move on because I'm I'm just chatting. I just, where did my voice go? I just threw on a really thin line of eyeliner and my mascara. So the lashes I'm going to use are these Sosu lashes. These in Paris, these are Paris, but this brand in Primark, Paris and Dubai are so beautiful. I love them so much. Really reusable, just treat them with care. These are the Paris ones. I'm lisping really bad and saying Paris I'm trying to cover the shine they're just soft fluttery fluffy they're not hugely dramatic which is really unlike me to like a pair of lashes that aren't super dramatic but it's just something about them they're just beautiful so I'm gonna throw these on them my pre-mark tweezers to put them on They have a really thin lash band, so you could not do eyeliner, but I always just think eyeliner with lashes is a little bit easier. You can be a bit more messy, but you see, they just stick up really nicely, and oh, I just love them. Dubai are my favourite, but I decided to use Paris today. Oh, aren't they pretty? Here we go. Why does my voice keep going like that? There we go. Both lashes on just like them. There's just something about them. Fiverr lasts forever. Anyway, let's move on to face products. Said, got, got, a few, got a few exciting ones. So the first thing we'll start off with is the Bronze Glow. This is in Sunset. This was two pounds. So this is the bronzer. There was a couple of different shades, but this one looked like it would match me the best. And I'm going to use another Real Techniques brush. This is a 004 contour brush but it's so nice for bronzer I love it so it looks quite dark I'm gonna go in with a light hand oh it's quite, quite kick up -y. yeah it's got pigment it's got pigment it's got quite a lot of pigment when it comes to eyeshadows I like pigment bam straight out the bat straight out the bat straight off the bat but when it comes to like face products I'd rather be able to build them up in terms of pigmentation because like I don't know it just looks a little not patchy well kind of patchy but it's only because it's the first time you touch your skin with it all the pigment goes on but who else gets this awkward hand when you're doing something and then like one of your hands is just like here for like 10 minutes and you're like what is going on i get awkward hand all the time do you know what well, that's all right that is not that bad I'm, I'm just tapping it off with my hand now just so that i don't get too much on at once just like touching my skin gently it's all right 
I often, I quite, I know quite quickly with bronzers if I'm gonna really like it or not, although I will usually test products a few times before completely like poo-pooing them. Do you know what one thing Stacey did in her masterclass, I'm gonna do it with this bronzer because it seems quite cool toned, is she like put it under that like triangle bit of your chin. And I've seen other makeup artists do it and it just like helps make you look like you've got more of a jaw. Mine's kind of disappearing into my triple chin but so I kind of stick my neck out more because when I just hold it back so go away. This bronze over here is looking a little scarier than the other side I think. Anyway face powder brush always helps these things. I'll go in with contour and then decide if I need more bronzer to like make things look better. This is the PS Contour and Glow. I took the packaging off before I started filming so I wanted to just take it all off. This looks really dark and really warm. Like I would say even this bronzer looks more cool toned so I am going to be very careful with this. I think this was £2.50 or £3. Anyway you get a contour shade. Gosh. And then you also get a highlighter, but obviously it's way too deep for my skin tone. It would be a really pretty eyeshadow if you were so inclined to use it that way. They had a few different shades of these, but this honestly looked like the lightest contour that I could see anyway. Um, oh, it picks up so much on the brush. It's just so warm toned. It's just like a stripe. And I mean, I'm not averse to a very strong contour. You know me. I'm using even less over here. Really just going for that super, super sculpt. I, I'm going to contour my nose a little because I feel like it does look better, but gosh, better contoured. I mean, not this powder looks better. This could be worse. I'm going to use a tiny bit more bronzer just to kind of blend it in a bit. I feel like this side's just looking a wee bit patchy. The other side looks so much more smooth. It could just be one side of my face is like not playing ball. Could just be, I don't know. These products are just, they're too dark for me. I'm sure if they were in, you know, really pale girl shades or if I'd used like a deeper foundation, it would look a lot better. But I just, I'm, I'm, I want to put on Benefit Hula Light just as a, veil something you know better and then we have our highlight which is the ps oh, ultra glow in this it's brunch club the shade brunch club three pounds this is from my intel aka nicole and this is just a repackaged shade that they've already done before so i'm pretty sure i used to own this and i'm pretty sure i decluttered it in my Declutters series. I think I owned this in the like Kylie Jenner packaging. I could probably go through to my living room and find it for you. It's in the it's in a big IKEA bag basically that I'm still waiting on um, someone coming to get. But I'm gonna put this on anyway. If I decluttered it, I probably didn't like it that much, but we'll just still try it. I think their highlighters, like Primark highlighters, are really good. And to be honest, I've quite liked some of their bronzers and contours in the past. But clearly not enough to keep them in my Brutal Declutter series. I think what it is, is this one gives me a cast. I think we'll see properly when I put it on my cheek. Now, I've already got a nice glow from my skin finish. I'm using a really light hand right now to say, you know, like on purpose. It's really pretty. 
really glowy. Doesn't seem to highlight my skin texture. Does it give me a cast? A tiny bit, not much. Like, not that much. But for three pounds, like, I would rather buy the Makeup Obsession ones, which are great. They were so good. The Mega Honey Mega Lightning ones. I like to put a little bit here. And it gives me a tiny bit of a grey cast, but nothing that I'm like really upset about, so I'm going to put more on. Because highlight is great. Oh, that's what I meant to say. So the other day, I was watching a tea channel. I don't remember which one. I'm pretty sure it must have been a tea channel. This is the conclusion I've come to. It must have been a tea channel because I'd never heard of this site before. And they mentioned this website called Guru Gossip or Guru Gossiper. I can't remember, even though I've spent quite a long time on there <laughs> ever since. And I'd never heard of this website before, so I was like, what is this all about? Oh my goodness, like, I'm sure all of you have heard of this website. First, look at that highlight. That is very pretty. Primark know what they're doing when it comes to highlights. It's really not emphasizing my texture that much, like all highlights do, but it's not doing it that much. Yeah, it's not my perfect shade, is it? I've definitely got a grey cast, especially since I was like, yeah, put more on. So I'm going to use this blush and beam, matte and illuminating blush. I can tell this is going to go in my collection and stay there of like all the products so far. This one's probably the one I'm most excited about because it's got, I mean this blush on here, it's not matte. Oh, it's such a beautiful shade. It's not entirely matte and then it's got this much more highlighty side. I'm going to mix them together and just put them on. But anyway, oh, and this brush, I have to talk about this brush. I got sent a bunch of Profusion brushes. This brush is everything. It's everything for putting on blush. I can't stop using it. Anyway, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna mix them together. So I went on this website and it's like the most rudimentary website. It looks like it's stuck in the early 2000s, first of all. Not a criticism, but it is a little bit. It's not even got like a search search function or anything. Maybe it does when you like have an account on it, but there was no way I was going to make an account on there. And it's basically like mostly about beauty gurus. And okay, this blush is gorgeous. It's definitely staying in my collection. And the first thing you're like shown is trash a guru. And then there is just below that rave about a guru. But I was like, what? So I clicked on the first name that I was interested in, which was Shanexo. Because I love Shanexo. And I mean, sure. Sure, 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 sure. I think her makeup looks aren't that good. And by that good, I don't mean she is not skilled at applying makeup. I just mean when I first started watching her, I'm putting a lot of blush on. I feel like she was a lot more like creative and bold in her makeup looks and I think that's what really, really drew me to her. But then now I just love her personality and I don't miss a video, even if I'm not like that excited about like the makeup look that she's doing. I put on so much blush. Like, so her skills I think are fab and you know, I just wish she would do like some really crazy looks. I know they're like cocktail series and things. She does more colorful looks for a rainbow series, but even for me, I'm like, you could take this up a few notches. Shannon, so. and I love her so much. And I think she's great, but they are so mean. Like these people are so mean, so, so mean. They put up a picture of Shannon so and it's, she's like, advertise, if I can find the picture, I'll put it on screen. She must, it was from her Instagram picture and she's like in a yellow dress, a really low cut yellow dress. And she's doing like an advertisement for a jacket and she's just like holding it kind of like off the shoulders, you know, looking hot. And 
the only thing people were trashing her about was her boobs looked lopsided and I was like well she's in this kind of pose and like so one boob looks like great not that you can see her boobs but you know what I mean they're cleavage like one boob looked great like a well supported boob in an underwear bra and the other boob looked a little bit kind of slipping down and to the left because it is that's what gravity does even if you're in like a wonder bra your boobs are still gonna look slightly different when you're doing like this pose. And I was like, gosh, that's mean. And then they were trashing her brows, trashing the fact that she's bought a beach house and about how entitled she is and how she needs her mum to go to the doctor with her when she gets her blood drawn. I'm gonna do my under eyes. I'm just gonna do them neutral brown. But I was like, she's just, she's just a bit like anxious. Like, why are people ripping into her for having her mum go to the doctors with her, especially when you're getting like blood drawn and stuff. It's not fun, plus you don't want to drive. Sometimes you can't drive after you've had your blood drawn because it's just not safe. Like you can, you know, get lightheaded and stuff. Like, and then like other threads just making fun of people's teeth. Man, they'd have a field day with my teeth. Um making fun of people's eyes. I mean, obviously a lot of it was makeup application, but most of it was just like really mean, personal jibes like about people's looks. Like, oh my goodness, they were saying like about how fat Shan XO was. I really hope she doesn't watch this video. I mean, she would know, never watch a video of mine, but yeah, I really hope she doesn't see this and hears what they were saying. Because it's like the kind of stuff that if like say there was a thread about me which there isn't because it's only about like the really big ones really um that's the kind of thing that would make you quit would make a lot of people quit what they're doing if they, if you saw what they were saying about you it's just cruel like really really cruel and i was shocked at how many people were just jumping on it and saying horrendous things and when you put yourself out there on the internet it doesn't give people free reign to be super cruel about like about you like if you're gonna be mean and say mean things about someone like say like there's been a few times not gonna lie there's been a few times where like say a brand's uploaded a video or a picture of someone and i'm like that makeup is absolutely terrible it does nothing for the brand's page to be posting that and i think that in my head and then i have to remind myself Melissa, that's really mean your makeup has looked so much worse than that and like everyone's at different stages in their makeup journey do you know what I mean? I would never ever write something like that and I think all of these threads were like anonymous like people just put in like usernames obviously they didn't put their real names but my goodness it's such a horrible place there was obviously the thing like rave about a guru but I mean if you, if you were a guru and you saw that I can't imagine you being able to like cope nicely with it I'm gonna try I think I'll just go in a corner with gold. I was gonna use the other shade, but it's really cool toned. And I don't think it'll go nicely with my eye look. Not that this is an eye look to be remembered, but like I know places exist online just to be mean about people and like Reddit can be really cruel as well. I mean, it's just these gurus are still people no matter how much money you have like cruel comments are still cruel comments and there's just no need for it and i think the whole world just needs to be a kinder more like forgiving place i'm just gonna use my rimmel taupe eyeliner in my waterline yeah i just think just because you have an opinion and like people say well you put yourself out on the internet you're open for opinions and criticisms it's like well, yeah but just because you have an opinion like we all have opinions your opinion is not important 
Like nobody's opinion is that important. And especially when it's mean. Like it's especially unimportant because like words stay with people. And I know for a fact, like if I put up a video and I've got say 300 really nice comments or just neutral to nice comments and then I get one comment oh I'm gonna use this I'm pretty sure one of you recommended me this mascara it's the wet and wild mega length mascara it's got this tiny little wand I love it for my lower lashes anyway just because I can't remember what I was saying oh yeah like I'll have 300 really nice comments, neutral to really nice. So like constructive criticism to literally like inflates my head 40 sizes bigger, do you know what I mean? And then I'll get one really mean comment and it's not like, by the way, your makeup looked really bad in this video. It's not like mean like that, it's, oh my goodness, stop eating, you've put on so much weight and it's like, Oh gosh, oh gosh, because you know, you're already feeling insecure about these things and then someone just decides from their bedroom somewhere to write you a mean comment and you're like, why did you feel the need to do that? Like, do you feel better about yourself? Like, what if someone was saying that about your sister or your brother or your mum or your niece? Or, do you know what I mean? It's like, you just, it just baffles me. Anyway, let's put a lip on. I have picked this up. This is the Bare Edit Lip Contour Set. So obviously it's like a liquid lipstick set. You get two liquid lipsticks and a lip liner, but I feel like it's trying to be like nude sticks. Like it's a tin box. I I feel like the Nude Sticks logo is very similar to this. And this was £3.50. I think we're gonna run into the issue of this, it's just weird shades. But I'm gonna use one. So this is the first one. I mean, it's very pale, but it looks to me in person so peach, like a color corrector. And then this is the deeper one, which again looks so peach and like a color corrector. I'm gonna use the paler one. Where did my makeup wipe go? I don't think I've ever seen a more grotesque lip color. I'm gonna clean up my lips with this. Wow, that's horrendous. It's so ugly, there is no way I am keeping this on to do my outro. <laughs> One moment. This is a favorite Primark lipstick. This is in the shade Naked. It's one of their matte ones. They still have these like bullet lipsticks in store. So I'm just gonna put it on top even though this seems to not wanna dry down. Right, that's as good as it's gonna get. I am refusing to wipe it off and start again. Sometimes I can be the laziest person in the world. Let me throw on my earrings. I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, that is a almost foolish face of Primark. Don't think I've ever done such a soft eye. I can't even look at myself on this lipstick. Like my teeth are not white, okay, by any stretch of the imagination. This is making them look a thousand times worse. Like, because of the colour. Okay, primer. Um, I'll need to test it again. Will I? Probably not, but I would need to test it again because it was pilling up. But I mean, my base looks fine. It looks a little dry, surprisingly, but it looks fine, whatever. 
primers are hard to test. This is something I highly recommend you all go and get, even just to save you money on using your expensive setting sprays for wetting your brushes and stuff. This is great. Great, 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 great. Will not say enough good things about it. Um, oh, lashes. Fab, go and get them. Paris and Dubai are the best. What else did we try? Well, I'll talk about this. No. Mm -mm -mm. I think there was a red one of this. Really wish I'd bought that. I'm probably going to keep the lip pencil just for in case, but the liquid lipsticks were horrible. Also, they really didn't want to dry down, which made it hard to put my favourite Primark lipstick, lipstick on top of it. The eyeshadow palette I thought was fine. I'm probably not going to keep it in my collection, like use it, but I mean, it's fine. Honestly, no real issues. If you wanted to do a soft look with it, you can. You could probably jazz it up a bit more, add that deeper shade, you know, really pack on the shimmers a bit more. I thought it was fine. Let's swatch the blue. I mean, that's quite nicely pigmented. That's really nicely pigmented. But yeah, it's fine. I think it worked for a four pound eyeshadow palette for 12 eyeshadows, like pretty darn good. Bronzer, a little bit scary because it was too dark for me, but it went on okay. This side of my face just looks more patchy than this side for some reason, but with a light hand, it blended out on my pale skin. No problem really. The contour is way not my color. I needed a way lighter one, but again, they didn't have one in store. But it blended really nicely and had that been my perfect shade, I think it would have been fine. Everything is thrown off by this lipstick, I think. Like, it's just making everything look worse. Blush, I really, really like this. I think it's a really pretty, pretty colour. I like that it's got like a shimmery blush beside it as well, because you know me, that is my favourite thing. That is definitely staying in my collection, although... It won't fit in my drawer and then the highlighter is quite nice like it's really good in terms of it highlights it's there but it does give me a cast i'm quite pale i think this was the palest one which is why i picked it up but it's still got like a gray undertone even when i look straight on but all in all not that bad i am not hugely upset by my face would go out like this with a different lipstick on so that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed my comeback. I'm sure you are all so glad I did just so you could see this lipstick on me. It's that nice. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. It would really, really help me out. Also leave me a comment because I do reply to all of my comments and subscribe because it's just a polite thing to do. And as we've just discussed, the internet is not a very nice place at all, at all. I want to say as well a massive thank you to my Patreons, thank you guys so much for supporting me in that way as well as supporting me on my channel by watching my videos, boggles my brain, baffles my butt, no what do I say, I can't remember what I usually say, but thank you so much honestly, it's such a support you know it um, and hopefully you enjoyed your second ever Patreon only video the other day and there will be more where that is coming from once I am back into the swing of things and um, yeah you're just just know that I appreciate the support so 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 much and if you want to become a Patreon the link is down in the description box you get early access to videos and uh, what else do you get you get other things Patreon only videos and giveaways as well, which the um, Patreon have told me I'm not allowed to host giveaways or even mention giveaways on the Patreon platform. So when it's next due to come around, I'll just announce it in a general video. If you don't want to become a Patreon or you can't, don't worry about it. Just know that watching my videos is a massive support to me, a huge, huge, huge support to me. And especially if you like it, shut up, subscribe. And leave a comment that's even more support and with that i'm gonna piss off i might change the slip and film um another video might not probably won't because actually i feel quite tired and it's already four o'clock so yeah i'm gonna go thank you so much for joining me today and i hope that you all have a nice day bye <laughs>